Hey everybody, Imperial Ants here, and today we have more of a hands-on video for you guys. So, as you can probably tell from the title, I'm going to be trying to split a colony of Diacama rugosum ants. So, as you can see here, this is the nest of my current colony. They have a very healthy amount of brood, larvae, pupae, and a couple cocoons, and essentially, a quick bit of biology on these ants, they have no queens. And they procreate via a worker who is essentially proxying as a queen called a gamma gate. That's about all you need to know. So essentially, what you can do is uh, you take a worker, a fresh worker from the colony before she is hatched from a cocoon, and um, if you isolate her from the current gamma gate, who is the leader of the colony, then she will hopefully be able to procreate and start a new colony. Now, uh, the reason you can't just take any workers is because the Gamma Gate rips these uh, organs which control the ants abilities to essentially mate and procreate, called Gemi. They're little protrusions on the back of the ant. But if you get the ant out early enough, before the Gamma Gate has a chance to take the Gemi out, then in theory she should be able to procreate. So, without any further nonsense and babbling, let's get into it. So, here you guys can see my uh, setup, in, which is essentially a box and a nest inside the box for my uh, Diacama rugosum ants. And I've just popped it on top of a heat mat, so essentially what they do when I do this is they essentially just jump ships out of the plaster nest and into the uh, plastic parts and onto the walls. It doesn't hurt them or anything, it's perfectly alright. Uh, Ants like this have to do it all the time in the wild due to floods. It's nothing they can't handle. These are very hardy ants. So, essentially what I'm going to do is pick up one of the uh, ants with a cocoon once they run out. And I'll check back in a few minutes because they will have run out by then. Uh, I'll pick them up, pop them in a test tube setup. And then, for all intents and purposes, I'll be treating them as semi claustral creens. Hey everybody, I'm back. Uh, so I got a worker with a larvae into this test tube and it was bloody scary. I'm sorry if the uh, camera is a little shaky because uh, my nerves are completely racked here. It was actually quite terrifying capturing this worker with a pair of tweezers, popping her in here and putting the, um, the uh, cotton bud in because I do not know how much it hurts when these guys sting you. But I'm guessing it hurts quite a bit. So anyway, so she's got a decent sized pupa and over the uh, course of the next few weeks or maybe even over a month actually until the pupa turns into a cocoon and then finally a worker, I will be feeding her, you know, and all that stuff. But for now she should be digging out a nest somewhere over here in the uh, sand. It's very moist, so she should enjoy it. So yeah, that's the end of the process for now. I'll update you next time when there's something to update you guys on.